In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a PDF into an assignment. Um, the same instructions can be used in booklets, anything where you have an embed code, you can use the same um, method. But for this video, I'm just going to show you how to edit within an assignment. So what you're going to do is two things. One, you need to have your shell editing on and you need to have your assignment open that you'd like to add this to. And like I said, you can add this to a booklet. For example, if you want kids to go through at their own pace that has some content in it, um, you could add this. Um, you also need to have whatever PDF you want already in your Google Drive. So here's a list of all my different PDFs that I have. I've either opened or are within my drive. So for this particular example, I'm just going to show you, I have a handbook of online research that is in PDF form that I am going to use to embed into my Moodle. So I would have both open. Okay. So the PDF that you want and also your shell, um, your Moodle shell. So you're going to go to editing. Um, so I already have a pre-made one already good to go. I'm going to go edit settings. Okay. So then you should get this editing box here. So within it, this is where I'd like my students before they complete the assignment or they complete a forum or they go through a booklet, I would like them to perhaps explore the PDF information that I have shared with them. First from your drive, you're going to double click. So I'm just going to reverse here, double click. So you open it up. Then you're going to click these three dots on the right hand side and you have to click open in new window. Okay, because that's going to create the URL that you're going to want to use. Okay, then what you're going to do now, you're going to click the three dots a second time. Okay, and now you will have embed item within your drop down. So you're going to click embed item and it's going to give you your HTML code for your website. So you're just going to copy that. You can go command C. Okay, I've copied my code. I'm going to go back to my Moodle. Now you just have to make sure you figure out the correct spot. So actually, you know what? I'm going to have this um, after my rubric. It really doesn't matter, but I'm going to turn on, uh, sorry, I have to click my drop down arrow so I can see all my options. And I want to click my coding button and I'm going to get all this fancy colored code. And I want mine at the end. Just remember this, these P's here, that's the bottom. So you don't want it to go underneath that. So I'm just probably going to put my embed code here. I'm going to go command V copy paste. There's my coding right here that I've just copied over. And again, play around where you want this to go. And then I'm going to go save and display. So I want to see what is this going to look like before I share it with my students. I'm going to scroll down and there it is. So right within the task, I have put in the assignment and they can, cause it's embedded directly there. They should write on without having to like open a new window. They can scroll down and see the articles. One other interesting thing that you can do with PDFs, in addition to Im just embedding for the sake of reading, you can actually foster collaboration. So if you were to click open, now you might have to make a couple of these depending on how many times you want kids to edit, but you might want kids to read a short story, a novel, whatever that looks like, um, a current event. And you can, kids, when they hit open, they can click annotate. So this little um, plus comment box, so if you slide down, you might say, hey kids, I want you to read page two. There's a really interesting opinion piece, for example, or a current event. And so you tell them where you want them to go, teach them how to highlight. Okay, this particular piece sounds really interesting. And then the student could put a comment, I wonder, or questions, I wonder about, or I disagree, or I agree. And they can put their comments right on the side they're going to get comments. And so what can actually happen with a PDF that they can annotate again, short stories, current events, even math problems is you can foster collaboration within your PDF by them annotating and have conversations. Um, so you could assign a certain piece of a PDF to different groups. So group one, your page two, group three, your page four and so forth. So really beyond thinking beyond just going online and reading independently, how can we also foster students collaborating together from that social piece? So there you go. That's how you can embed a PDF directly into your Moodle shell. And I'm going to challenge you to think a little bit beyond just reading content. And again, make sure it's in your Google Drive. Double click the three dots, open a new window, 
so that you have your URL, URL, and then you're going to click the three dots again, and then you have your embed item. And this is the code that you want to copy and paste directly into your shell.